Hello, my name is Mark Merrill. I'm one of the history teachers here at Manwoods and what I was trying to do today is give you some idea of what's involved in A-level history. Obviously with a bit of emphasis on the lower sixth because that's what you'll kick off with and then some mention of what we'll do in the upper sixth year. There are five teachers that will contribute towards the course in all and usually uh, classes will have two teachers. A-level in history tends to be split between two different courses that will run with each class each year. In year 12, everyone will do a really important course on English history during the 17th century. Our focus is on the Stuarts. This is a, a period where England's transformed. It's torn apart by huge internal disputes over religion, over politics, that will eventually lead to a cataclysmic civil war. The end of that war is going to see Charles I lose his head. Following that, England is going to be ruled for 10 years by a commonwealth. This was the most revolutionary and tumultuous period in English history and set, effectively, the developments which see our own parliamentary democracy today. This unit is studied with a mixture of both essay and document work. The documents are really a development of the source work that people have done at GCSE and as such drive on the skill set that people would already be familiar with. The other part of our Year 12 course considers, if you like, Britain's alter ego. It's the development of the United States during the 19th century. We look at America from its formation, uh, from a collection of former British colonies, to, by the end of the 19th century, the creation of what was to become a Western superstate. America was wracked by problems. As it grew, it had to wrestle with the difficulties they faced with an expanding nation, their conflict with Native Americans, but above all, the original problem which America had to wrestle with, and that was slavery. We'll look at the origins of the American Civil War and what happens in that awful conflict in the 1860s. The legacy of slavery is arguably with America today, and it forms a really important part of this course. The American course is assessed by short answer questions, but also by no more normal, longer essays. In the upper sixth, everyone in history gets a chance to do a bit of coursework of your own choice. And in addition to that, people will also get the chance to study uh, a course either on Russian or Irish history, depending on the group you're in. All these courses are based on student interest. If you found GCSE interesting, you're likely to find the challenge and interest here something you'll enjoy. We certainly hope so.